The other thing, let's let's move Karen into our meetings. Then. Do I go into, into what that looks like? Sure. You want to oh. do it? Yeah. Play with that? Yeah. Okay. One of the things that Karen and I also do is after I get done with rounding uh, with the principals, then I meet with weekly with her, and then there's a number of uh, inform, a bunch of information that I actually bring in to help uh, keep her informed. So this would be me as the. Uh, Supervisor, yes, director. now the super. Yes. So I'd be the superintendent in this case. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Hi, Karen. Thanks for meeting with me today. Yes, absolutely. Well, I know you've been rounding out at the schools, and I'm interested in, in what you're finding out. Well, it's been interesting. One of the last uh, schools that I was just at was Craig High School, and I talked with Dr. Bion. And one of the things that she has been sharing with me is the class sizes are a little bit higher than what uh, she actually thought they were going to be. And one of the areas was the agribusiness. I don't know if you heard about agribusiness classes being a little bit higher than... I, yeah, I have heard something about that, yes. Okay. So we've been talking about that, and what I have is um, Steve Huth, who's our curriculum coordinator, and he supervises that area. He's working with our director, Kim Earhart, and those people are going to be kind of working with uh, Allison as she is working through this whole issue with, with the higher TPR. So uh, we did look at some numbers. And the numbers aren't quite at 32, which is our board policy, but they roughly are around 30, 31. So we want to have some people get out and try to support uh, Allison out there. Oh, that's fantastic. So you you learned that information through rounding with Allison, right? right? Okay, that's right. really good. If you would leave your lo rounding logs with me too, so sure. I could just review yeah. the, the logs and all the work you've done in the other schools, that really helps me keep a, a pulse on the entire district. Oh, that's helpful. The other thing that's going on right now in the uh, in the school is the salary. Uh, staff are kind of talking about salary, and you know that we're negotiating. So I, what I had suggested is that we have our uh, the staff see the blogs that you're presenting, sure. and see that communication on a on a weekly basis. And I think that that will be helpful. Oh, I think that's really important too. How are you coming with your action steps for your leadership evaluation management tool? Are you able to get in there and... For me personally? Yeah, are you yes. checking your 90-day goals? Yes, and I, I'm, I'm doing my 90-day goals, and I'm, I'm putting the results in, but I'm also following up with the principals to make sure that they're staying on top of that. Okay, that's good. And I can look at all of them, too. I haven't been you have full way. access. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but thank you for sharing that with me, because those action steps just build right towards our goals, and that's why we're so successful, I believe. So what this does is this is giving her that additional communication. Uh, because she can't be out in each and every one of the schools. Uh, she can look at stoplight reports and she can look at scouting reports um, because those are all available. And uh, that one-on-one -on -one that we have is, is pretty important. We'll come up to the time.